Hello and welcome to the PvP compilation, Perry vs. Players. This is the character, Grok the Orc. He's a strength build, and as you can see, very orky. Level 100 to go into the PvP zones, and uh, 40 strength, 14 dexterity for the Avalon. Here we go. Plus 15 reinforced club. Lightning Avalon plus 5. Pyromancy Fame plus 5. A wooden plank, or the plank shield, plus 15. The Fang Boar Helm, yes, they're a lot better out there, it's for the look. Balder Armor, plus 10. Poor Solaire, the Iron Bracelets are mine, plus 10. Goch's Leggings, plus 5. The Fap Ring, the Red Tear Stone Ring, and some Lightning Bolts. Get it? Alright, so he's just going to give us one more cheer, as he is uh, the orkiest orc that ever did orc. And we're going to dive right into it here. Yes, I learned some transition effects, so let's see if they work. Ooh, look at that slow fade out. He goes off. Alright, so here we are. Uh, level 95 at this point. This was before anything, but the fight turned out pretty well, so I recorded it. Uh, here we go. I'm just clearing it up because someone has invaded. Uh, the, vi the audio has been taken out because a friend and I were actually on Skype joking back and forth. Grok doesn't like furniture. It's one of those things that Grok just uh, can't uh, deal with. So he's just going to clear out the table with his spike shield. This is prior to uh, the final build. The spike shield is fun and all, but didn't really fit with Grok. Far too, far too not orky. So here's the target. I don't know why that archer is missing. I guess he's just drunk. Damn drunk skeletons. So it's going to be a, a basic fight. This is the first time I met this individual. I fought him three times. Of the three, I beat him three times. I think I only have one recorded, perhaps two. Um, but to the Reinforced Club, a lot of people don't realize that it is incredibly powerful. The R2 catches a lot of people off guard. Um, it has one of the highest damage out of all the club weapons, even with its low ranking of C for uh, strength attribute. Um, actually, I believe I'm going to kill him very soon. Anyhow, there's a repost. That's one thing that rapier wielders have to be careful for, for, that running dash, if they have a high enough poise. The first one can hit, and the second one they can easily, and I mean easily, repost. Here the guy's just using cards rapier, and as you can see he's going for the backstab, and thank god for the mace and the club, but it has a nice little degree of hitting around him. Gonna walk towards that damn skeleton and take care of him. On to the next fight. It's him again. He did a good job. You know, usually you fight people that are twinked out and they've got themselves with uh, lightning weapons or what have you, but he's actually trying to go for a semi spell sword kind of build, which gave me an idea for my next uh, build. It's gonna be a spell sword. Hint. In this fight, I'm actually being a complete nerd dick. Uh, I'm gonna hit him, I think, twice with the mace flattening him for 900 and some damage, I'm like, you know, that was kind of cheap, so I'm going to start punching him with my shield. Literally, that's the rest of the fight is me decking him with the thorn shield. Here we go, back and forth. His pattern is very, very predictable. I'm just moving towards him. Rolls away, comes in for the stab. Rolls away, comes in for the stab. It's like, okay, this is, this is getting a little obvious now. So, uh, this character came up because I didn't have any strength characters, so I was sitting here wondering what exactly should I build next, and I was playing with the skin with the, uh, the uh, Servant of Death prior, and I saw that I could go green, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to make me an orc. Orcs, what do they wield? Well, they use blunt instruments or really big axes. I've already made something with axes, so I'm going to make something with the Reinforced Club. No one seems to be using that. So here we go, Reinforced Club. First PvP, first time ever actually in the arena on PC. And uh, walking forward. The guy's AFK. Here's the power within. Really orky. Does a bit more damage. Not much, but hey. So I'm standing like, hey, you uh, you there? I'm not the kind of person that's going to waste my time with someone who's going to be AFK, so let's give him a wake up call. Beat him in the head twice. If you're going to be in the arena, please stay at your computer. There's no reason to go AFK. You could be playing something else. You, as soon as you hear that trap door drop, you should be, you know, there. If you have to go to the bathroom, well, you go to the bathroom and you come back and you've got a death. It's very simple. You're in a PvP arena. It's like leaving yourself unattended when you're in the forest. You're going to get yourself kicked. 
So yeah, 411 damage on a simple swing. It's rather painful when you actually look at it that way. Um, this Rad Grus 86217, I believe his name is, that is shown there, was um, not the most skilled combatant. Uh, the most damage he did was from me doing the lunge attacks and him constantly trying to go for the backstab, so I start countering him. Again, the circle counter is possibly the most useful move, especially for things like the arena, because whenever people use it, it is just lovely to counter their attempt at a backstab with your death backstab. So he's going to come in for it again, and thank goodness for the club's dead angle, it hits once more. Now unfortunately, Grok killed himself because he was so angry. So he gets one defeat so far. Um, there's a lot of things about uh, PvP in Dark Souls that people hack through for the simple fact that they want to be the best, and that doesn't really fly well in a game that is designed to quite literally pit your skill against someone else's. When your skill is turning on a cheat to make sure that you have infinite health, well, you can't really get bragging rights or even be proud about it. And the scary thing is, people are proud. They're like, aha, I beat you. Well, congratulations. It's Dark Souls, man. You've proven nothing other than the fact that you had to use an exploit to beat me. I mean, if anything, that's a feather under my cap, not yours. But in the arena, from what I've heard, there's a lot of hackers. I didn't run into any, so I'm somewhat glad about that. Uh, here you go. Miss jump again. Backstab. And that's the third hit he gets on me. Rock really doesn't care at this point. He's just going to be like, yep. Just keep doing that. Fourth hit. Very little damage. I don't know why someone would use the Chaos uh, Curve Sword in here. It just doesn't make sense. Quilags is not the world's best uh, PvP weapon. So he lost. Giving him a little bit of a cheer. The Orc hurrah. And uh, the gentleman gets a little sore about this. And just keeps casting spells. But this isn't the one where he gets the little backstab tantrum, so that's good. So I'm playing against my friend Lord Rachnol. Uh We play together quite often. We rush each other through the game so that my builds can be made quicker, and he's started to make his own. I'm up against his big damn hero build, giant jaw, and uh, every strength and uh, dex weapon he can put under his belt. Uh, wearing the steel helm, bronze chest, steel leggings, and I believe the steel hands. Yeah. He's got himself the uh, crest shield for anti-magic, but it doesn't help that much against the club. Uh, he's uh, He started off not knowing P uh, Dark Souls or PvP that well, but he's come a long way, as you'll see from the, the back and forth. He knows to change up his strategy. He knows to uh, swing at the right time. He knows about riposts. So when he started, he knew nothing of this. And I'd like to think that I helped him a little bit. Uh, these fights are actually really well done. Uh, there's uh, quite a bit of back and forth between them, and uh, they end in a very predictable manner. Uh, the predictable manner being the fact that there's a draw both times. I've recorded both of them. They will both be put up here, and I will continue talking about Grok and the wonder that is the club. <clears throat> now, his build is based around strength, but I was originally going to go with the Great Club or something like that, but when I saw how useful the Reinforced Club was, I was like, you know what? I'm going to use this. Not only does it have one of the highest damage out of all the mace weapons, but it has a bleed effect on it, and it has a you know, very unique R2. It's the jump attack, but not. And a lot of people don't realize that there's actually a second R2 to the first R2, and it does quite a bit of damage. So there, the Red Tear Stone Ring helped me whittle down Lord Ragnall's health to a point where he just can't survive the next little bit. I think he gets two or three hits in. Uh, with this build currently, he's using the Hornet Ring, which gives him one heck of a one-up when he actually gets the payback backstabs. But uh, good old Avelyn takes him out when he misses his swing. Uh, people are going to say, the Avelyn's not very orky. You're right. He raided it. Pillaging. Go orcs. He raided it from his buddy, Big Damn Hero, who also used the damn thing. Runs in for the slam because I was taunting. Misses. Lucky me. <laughs> shoots me in the face. Comes for the 
payback backstab, and there's the hornet ring. Oh, that damage. I have over 1800 health, and that did more than half. A few more fights, use the evil one again, I pay him back. Like I said, these fights are actually pretty good back and forth. Um, when it comes down to PvP, in the arena, there are certain classes that are, or I should say, certain builds that are more PvP oriented than others. Uh, one thing that I've seen is as far as casters go, they always rely on the exact same strategy. It's homing soul mass and soul spear, and they try and link the two. I'm not counting dark beat in here because I don't consider that a strategy. I consider that a win button. I mean, if you use dark beat for anything other than, uh, you know, the oh I got you, I'll use it once instead of oh I've got you now I'm going to span six times, which has happened quite a bit to me. It's just not, it's not actually a, a spell sword. It's at that point a one-trick pony, and that's not fun. I don't make one-trick ponies. You know, I'm, I make themes. So if anyone asks me to make a mage, yeah, I'm going to make a mage. But I ain't going to use the dark bead. It might be in my spell rotation, but it's not going to be the one I go, spam, 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 my win. Might be a payback for when I see someone spamming it and show them how it's done properly. Ah, here's our smock-wearing... I'll just call him S'mores. It's the internet name for him. He's wearing S'mores' as armor. And again, I fought him before. Has his blood shield. Has his fury sword. And constantly goes for the circle backstab. So you know what? This time, I had enough of him. And I'm just going to beat him into the ground via club. Good clubbing always helps people gain uh, respect for the orc. That's the beautiful thing. Not only dead angle, but bleed effect. So you can't just turtle against this guy. Turning against the orc means that he's going to club you to death. But yes, um, the next build I'm going for is a spell sword in all intents of the world. They're going to be just as skilled with the, the blade as they are going to be with their spells. So it's not going to be one spell that I keep spamming. It's not going to be um, just a sword that has a magic weapon on it. It's going to be a mix of the two. I'm going to be using things like... Um, I will be using Soul and Coal Mass, but it's not going to be my only spell. I'm going to be using Magic Weapon, but it's not going to be my only spell. I'm going to be using, actually, uh, I know at least two of the spells, so both uh, Faith and Intelligence are going to be used. I'm not sure if I'm going to use Pyromancy. It's one of those things that's up in the air. It would be pretty useful, and I don't know if it really matches the Spell Sword kind of deal I'm going for, but uh, we'll see when the time comes. I mean, I'm going for around eight attunement slots, so we'll see what happens. Still beating crap out of Radgrass here. Um, I don't know if he was new to PvP. It is the 100 bracket, so maybe he was given a tryout. Maybe he's a level 51. I'm not sure. But uh, it's, it comes down to not exactly the world's most difficult challenge for the orc. Mainly because of that club and the wood plank. Every, everyone loves the wood plank. Um, there's a riposte. Kind of lured him in with uh, missing my jump twice comes kind of obvious. I got him, I think, twice with that in the same fight. So he never learned that he should be avoiding the crap out of me when I miss my jump. Kill him again. Walk away. Now there's one more fight after this. It's back with my buddy Lord Rachnall. Um We are going to be making dragon bros at some point just to try it out and uh, run around as dragons going rah rah the entire time. So if you run into us and uh, decide you're going to invade or you're going you're going to uh, dark moon blade us. Uh, we apologize. We're going to dragon you and uh, probably double team you. Or we'll send one of us at, after you at a time and beat you up that way. It's one of the things we like to do is, oh, we're invaded. Uh, who wants to take you? And we send them out. That's, uh, this is the friend that we were doing the bridge invasions in the forest when people were invading us and saying, you must fight my disciple before you can move on to the master. So it'll be, you know, fight the dragon bros. Got a riposte there, but it, the battle was done, so he had learned. At least he got a riposte off. Now in his fit of rage, instead of standing back like the last few fights, he's going to just continually backstab. I don't care. Go ahead. If it makes you feel better, you can backstab me. Ooh, 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 I'm so sad. Moving on to the final fight of Grok. We're going to go with Lord Rackdoll and myself. Cheer, cheer, cheer. So... With the spell sword, that's going to be my next build. I'm probably not going to be able to have it up for two weeks because, like I explained, my builds, I actually don't pack to make them. I 
work my way through it so I can get used to playing the character. And when the time comes, I show it off like this. The Rage Engine is still being built. He's just so much fun that I can't put him down. And I'm preventing leveling him because I'm just staying in the forest killing people because it's so much fun. Stupidly ran into fire thinking I could fit through. Grox, not the smartest. So he got crushed by that fire and it did so much damage. Oh my lord, that was painful. So, Lord Ragnall and myself again. Go on the back and forth. Don't know how he got that off. He was actually confused as well. But uh, good on him. Uh, this fight is very, very close at the end. It uh, could have easily been a loss, but due to timing, it turned out to be a very close draw. Uh, so like I, I've said before, if you want me to do a challenge, go ahead, ask me. Send it a PM, put it down on the comments, or, you know, make a video response saying, yeah, I bet you can't do this build. I've done it. Ha ha ha. And I'll see what I can do. Like I said, not going to do whips unless I think the build is fun. I do these builds again for amusement. I don't do it to prove a point, except for the fists. I did that to prove a point because my friend said do it, and I thought it would be fun because I was doing a Street Fighter character. How wrong I was. But I did it, went through it, and uh, went on to make Grok here. So again, just uh, send me any vi any messages saying that what kind of build you want to see, and I'll see what I can do about it. For now, I'm going to sign off, and I'm going to let you watch the rest of the fight. Thanks for joining me, and uh, don't forget to hit the like or subscribe button. I don't know. Whatever it is you kids do these days, crazy kids, have a good one.